Good morning, folks. Uh, horrible day. <clears throat> We're not having a very good spring. We've had a couple of several days where it has been really nice, <clears throat> but it's the end of June and it's overcast and it rained a lot of rain yesterday. Luckily, we got home from the bike ride along the Wandle <clears throat> uh, by about 12 o'clock. Then it started. Uh, yeah, we, us Brits, we always complain about the weather. We always, so we usually an open, a conversation opener about the weather. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, my usual, I just start with the sky and I just superimpose. This is acrylic again. I'm really enjoying using acrylic. I never thought I would um, over the years that I've used them now on and off. But uh, I have to say that I'm having some good good times. I'm enjoying what I'm painting, even though it might be a bit repetitious. But uh, there are a number of people coming on the channel that are starting with beginners. Uh, and I'll try to think of them. We had a had a uh, a party yesterday. We held, we hosted for our some of, about twenty of our church friends for a, a lovely, lovely elderly lady, ninety coming ninety one on Saturday. We hosted the uh, party. The party it was lovely, and Molly the, uh, was a pianist. She's a lovely, lovely. She she's bent over, but she's still laughing. And I I said, "Do you want a cup of tea, Molly? Or do you want a glass of wine? Oh, 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 have a glass of wine, please." She had half, but she's still there fighting. Um, and uh, we had a lovely, lovely time. Everybody bought bought a a, uh, a something from uh, Waitrose or Sainsbury's or whatever, or they made some. So I'm, and there's a lot of stuff left over. And one of uh, my friends he is, was the, uh, a, a, a minister who retired at uh, 65, who was an ex-police chief inspector. inspector. Uh, lovely couple. Um, they, they, they're still attached to us, really. And... Uh, and the uh, her, the wife Jackie, oh, the wife, his lovely wife, Jackie is uh, learning to paint, and I gave her a fifteen minute demonstration of the usual stuff I do. Oh, God, she she oh she took it, showed everybody, and has gone home really happy and determined to try to get away from detail into into a you know you paint what you want to paint how you want to paint just there aren't any rules with painting but apart from don't use PVA glue to to glaze a oil painting an oil painting uh, that sort of thing uh, don't paint uh, acrylic over oil paint it doesn't work don't I know uh, Right, so here we go, let's just, just bash on. So we want a bunch of skies. Oops, that's a little bit loose. So let's just push that up a bit. This is my, my Dale Rowney palette. It's okay. Bit of water. Paints grey with that. It kills the uh, the brilliance or the brightness of the uh, of the uh, ultramarine. And it dries ferociously quick, especially when the weather is a bit uh, dry. Look, it's a mess now, isn't it? But. With a few strokes and different colour, a bit of white, a bit of touch of yellow ochre. 
you could do a sky very quickly. You can keep over the keep overlaying paint to dry a bit more. So I know we've got a bit of a pinky burnt sienna there. I'm going to put the horizon about halfway on this one. Not the best format, but uh, I want to paint in a bit of water. Right, so let's get a bit of sky there. A bit of a sky, a bit of ochre. I've never see how that goes. Right, clean the brush. I'm using a, a 30 millimeter, should be a 25 millimeter, but uh, varnish brushes. They last quite a long time, but eventually they wear out, and then they do good things. Like, uh, like that one. Although that one I've, I've neglected, I'm going to have to leave that in soak. But these ones, like these, are just a lovely and bouncy. Right now, I'm going to do, do some trees. Um, I'm, I'm going to use this brush. So, well, oh, primaries. Uh, see what I've got to do. There's a bit of uh, towering in here. It's uh, uh, okay. Uh, bit of yellow, bit of paint spray. I don't like um, uh, by, uh, using grey uh, greens. I make my own, mainly with the primaries. to the edge, just take it off the edge a little bit and we can might make a, see a, a river picture of the bundle that, that I was riding a, along but yesterday with, with my pals. Okay, get a bit of ochre in there, we can have a bit of persiana. Warm. I'm having. I'm staying on the uh, small A4 size. Uh, mainly because if it goes over 30 minutes, the video recording, it starts another file, then you, that's on the Windows Movie Maker, and never used to, but it's, it's defunct really. But the one good thing that the old Movie Maker had was the facility to knit the files together, so you've got one video from a number of the files. And I'm, I just don't want to spend the time doing it. So that's why until I, I can uh, get on top of Windows or even find a, a sort of reasonably priced one-off buy. Uh, of, um, oh, I can't remember what I was going to say then. I got, I got sidetracked by my thinking. Right, okay, so that's 
good. A bit of, a bit of dark, a bit of shadow. So I have tried to knit them together. They, 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 they do. But you've got to keep it repeat, repeat yourself with the, with the two or three files that you, you want to download. Right, okay, now then, let's get in the brush. <coughs> oh, yeah. Right, now we'll put a bit of bank, a <coughs> bit of a bank in. Copy a marsh with the modern hall part which we go go through. There's a beautiful, beautiful, inspiring park from the board from the boardwalk aspect. The National Trust who have now run it or administer it. Um, put a, put this lovely boardwalk in in all the marsh grass and, and the water table is very high and it's like very boggy, marshy. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, we, we love it. We always uh, stop on, on the uh, on the boardwalk by a pond. Man-made, of course. I uh, should put some water in because uh, it's just opening it up again. With acrylic, it dries very quickly and you can go over it more or less straight away. You can mix um, uh, what, um, oh I can't remember this is what happens I, I get, get I sidetrack myself I forget what I'm going to say because I, something comes up in my mind and uh, Like that. So I constant, I, my concentration has gone onto, onto the painting and not into what I want to paint. So we've got a bit of a, a bit of that. Let's get some. That's supposed to be distance, eh? Oh, uh, we've got a little bit of a. water in there. <coughs> now when I was talking to my friend and demonstrating for her, I mean she's taking it home and she and uh, she's um, wrapped up in detail and I'm not surprised because we, we all do that. We put too much in, we try to refine it it looks stilted. Uh, partly why I don't, uh, I don't. Um, yeah, I've forgotten again. Uh, why I don't put uh, the twigs and branches and trunks in many of my paintings, because your brain just connects the dots. You know that's a tree. You know what that is. You don't need branches and twigs to tell you, but you had to create an impression of detail. That's what I try to do. There's uh, a bit of paint going here. The shadow. Oh, nice bit of bit of oak and a bit of burnt sienna. Oh, a bit of yellow with that burnt sienna. A burnt sienna is a lovely colour. Uh, Payne's grey, arguably, is uh, not a, a real colour. It's a, it's a um, colour that mixes with others. Like I've used, I've got a lump of it there. Uh, So it's a it's a neutral. Well, that's the best way to describe it. 
a, 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 an expert on that is the Danish painter. Don't deserve me in. <laughs> but she, she is a very, very good semi abstract painter. Um, I like her very much. Oh, a bit of, bit of green in there. The paint has uh, lasted a couple of a couple of days. Right, let's see if we can put in some water. Want to, that's a bit uh, laboured there. Uh, Put some water in there. All right, let's get a bit of a bit of, bit of light down here. That's the distance. Uh, right, uh, water, paint's grey, bit of blue. Uh, picked up some red there. stuff. There's nothing to stop you doing spraying uh, spray, the spray. Okay, get a bit of, bit of dark in there, I'm going to spray. I'll just connect that up a bit, I think. Why am I picking red up? Reed sort of... Let that dry a bit. Let's go down here now.
let's get a bit of blue, slightly blue. So just get a bit of dark in. I could have to alter this. The angle of this. Ooh. That's really good. The water's running down. I've got a bit of towering underneath. Get that colour above this in here. It is quite a challenge using a, a smaller piece of paper for a large landscape, but uh, Just drag down the colours above into that water. I'm trying to make that look like water, but to do it, you've got to reflect the colours above. You've got that lovely shadow uh, reflection above. Right, let's get a bit of blue in there. Now. 
bit of green in there. That's going on a little bit. Let's just take some of that out. A nice brush going over there. Whoops. Nice brush going over there. See, you can change as you go. If you don't like something, just paint over it. With acrylic, it's easy. Now we want some nice texture in here. You can imagine us on our bikes going down behind that lot. Lots of lovely uh, elder flowers, elderberry trees. So can I put them in? The gorgeous, uh, well, white, white leaves. Uh, oh, put them in. But there are, there's a shadow in there as well. This is a rag. Uh, put, it, put it up. There's some dark in there. Yeah, that is. Got some texture in there. Some old very 